I'm determined to finish this haul video, but every time I try to finish it, something happens. Some break, some stop. My ring light's leaning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mo. Today's video is a humongous haul. It's crazy, ridiculous, huge. I'm not capping, it ain't clickbait. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Okay, y'all, so I decided to shop Supa's brand for the first time, the crayon case, okay? I'm so pumped about this. I have two huge orders, one I haven't even opened. I haven't even opened the box, I don't think. Did I? I don't think I've even opened the box. So that's a true unboxing. This box, look at this, y'all. It's huge. Um, I ordered, look at that, it's so nice. I ordered for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, or actually it was Cyber Monday, she had a sale. She had 50% off, or she had, I don't, y'all, I'm just lying. She had like 40 to 60% off or something like that. And so I went ham, y'all. I bought a bunch of stuff for myself because I've been wanting to try her line. And I also bought a bunch of stuff for my one of my sisters, actually two of my sisters as well as two of my girlfriends. So let's go ahead and get into these items. I've already given them some of their gifts, but there's a bunch still here. So let's go ahead and pull this stuff out. Okay, y'all, so when you open the shipping box like this, it has her brand printed here, which is very nice. And then there's tissue paper that's branded that's there stuck at the top of the box. So I like that, it's black and it says the crayon case on it. My order slip is here. Y'all, I am not even joking. Hold on, I'm about to count these items. Why about 34 items? 34, 34. I'll be doing the most. Item number one is this really cute makeup bag. It comes wrapped in tissue paper, okay? It came in this little plastic bag and then it's wrapped in tissue paper. This is what the bag looks like, y'all. And it's, you know, it's a plastic little makeup bag. It has a zipper and it's really big. It's a lot bigger than I expected. Maybe the measurements were there and I didn't read them because I was shocked at how large this is um, when it came. And I actually bought three of these. I bought one for myself and two for one of my sisters and then one of my girlfriends. So that's why I got so many. Let's go ahead and talk about these loose leaf makeup wipes, y'all. The reviews on these are so good. So that was my heat turning off, so annoying. So I picked up, I actually picked up five of these and you all will see in my second order, I bought more. I picked up five, I gave my sister one pack because I like to stock up on makeup wipes when I can catch them on sale and there's some like really good ones. I just buy them in bulk and the limit is five. So that's why I only picked up five. If I could have bought 10 or 12, I would have bought 10 or 12 in my first order, you know? But I heard these are very good and very like moist and they like one makeup wipe takes off a full face of makeup and as y'all can see, I do the most with my eyeshadow and all that. So we'll, I'll, I'll let y'all know what I think of these, okay? I'll review these for y'all. So I picked up both of Supa's eyeliners. This is the Lime Me Liquid Liner. It's a fine point liner. And then this one is called the Shark Me Liquid Liner. And so I will let y'all know what I think of these because I use liquid liner all the time. So I think that it would be worth it for us to do like a K-On Craze review video. You know what I'm saying? Like I should do that for y'all so I can test out some of the products. Y'all, I got both of the liners in black, of course. I think they only came in black. I also picked up some of her Hall Pass collection lip glosses. And let me tell y'all the colors I picked up real quick. I picked up Private Party. I think I picked up one in each color, one in, I picked up the whole collection. So I picked up Private Party, Pecan Poppin, Soft Twerk, <laughs> Clean Kisses, and Clearly. So I actually picked up two of a couple of these and I gave them to one of my little sisters. So y'all, I actually picked up some of her beauty sponges. I picked up three of these pink sponges and I think the black come in a pack of two, right? It's like two per order or whatever. So I picked up um, six of these and so I'm giving these to my friend Kelly my little sister she already has hers and then I bought some for myself because I wanted to test her sponges 
All right, y'all, I picked up all of her colored pencils in the following colors, Valentine's, Berries, Tanning, and Blackboard. And this is more, wait a minute. Y'all, this is more than four. These are really long, look at this. Oh, it's because of how, <laughs> oh God. Adorable. Y'all, these pencils can be used as like eyeliner or lip liner, which I plan to use them as lip liner. So we have tanning, which is this um, light tan shade. And then we have adorable, which looks like a sort of burgundy shade. It's adorable. I'll do close up, I know how I am. Valentine's, which is a pretty red. Berries, which is a plummy shade. And blackboard which is black. <laughs> I can't go through the list, but they gave me an extra one, so thank y'all. Thank y'all, Crayon Case. Um, I don't know which one was extra without going through the whole list. I picked up one of her brush cleaners. I wanna open this up for y'all because I was surprised at how large this was. Once again, in the description box, maybe they list the size and I just wasn't paying attention. So I wanted to pick this up. I mentioned in one of my recent videos that I want to try different brush cleaners instead of just using Palm Olive, the green concentrated one. This doesn't really have a smell or anything. This had good reviews on her website, so I'll let y'all know what I think about this. And this was not expensive. Y'all, we're almost through the first order. <sighs> Before I show you all this palette, I wanna let you all know that I also bought the, wash, the Watch Me Blush palette. Excuse me. I bought two of them. I thought I bought three. I bought two and I gave them away as gifts. So I'll just include a clip of, you know, what it looks like so you all can see. But I picked up the matte book, y'all. So my best friend Kelly came to visit me here in the shot and she let me use hers. Y'all, it's so good. If you have not tried this palette, you need to get this palette. It is so good, y'all. So let me open it for y'all. All right, y'all, so look, it comes like this with this slip cover. And this is, I'm pumped about this. So I'm glad I'm doing this haul because now I can use it. Like I could have used it today on my green eyes. You know what I mean? So this is how it looks. You all know I'm good for close up, so I'll do that. It's just, if you love color, even these neutrals, like Kelly doesn't, she's not a big fan of color and she loves these neutral shades. And y'all, the thing that sold me on this, when I tell you they blend out so beautifully, like, I was just amazed at how pretty they were. Like I just kept saying it like as I was as I was blending the shadow out in my crease and stuff, I was like, these eyeshadows are off the freaking chain. So if you don't get anything else from this haul, you must or you should get this. <laughs> Y'all, I basically got one of everything from this lady's site with the exception of a couple things. I know this thing ain't running out of memory when I just cleared a bunch of stuff out. Here's order number two in this humongous box. Like, who buys this much makeup? You know what I mean? Normally I don't buy this much makeup, but last year I really splurged like at the end of the year because I worked my behind off last year, y'all. And I am not working that hard. <laughs> like, I know it sounds crazy, but I am not, I'm taking scissors and opening the box. I am not working that hard. Y'all almost cut myself. Hold on, let me be careful. I can't believe I almost cut myself opening this. So it lifts open like this, just like the first order. The tissue paper is here on top, it kind of slid off. And let me show y'all what I got. At this point, I don't think I've mentioned this, but if not, I think I have tried almost everything on her site, y'all. Like, I'm not exaggerating. So I bought some more of the loose leaf wipes, I told y'all that. So I got all of these additional packs. And when I do this, if this seems excessive, but guess what? I will not be having to buy makeup wipes probably until November of this year. Okay? So that's what I recommend because no matter how good they are or how cheap they are, it just feels so like wasteful. Like, oh, I'll just wipe this off and throw it away and I gotta keep buying six, eight, ten dollars, twelve dollars. No. So I got a bunch of these. I purchased 17 items in this order. Just, I just be so excessive. 
So I went ahead and picked up all of the colored pencils I did not already have. So I picked up, let me tell y'all the colors real fast. I picked up Poker, which is this mauve pink shade. Bribery, which is this pretty chocolate color. I can tell y'all I'm gonna use that, all of it. Um, I picked up Purpose, which is a pretty plummy, it's, it's, yeah, it's like a plummy shade. It's very pretty. I think that would be gorgeous with purples and pinks. I also picked up Browser, which is another brown shade, but it's lighter than Bribery. Bribery is more of a chocolate brown, and then Browser is more of a, like, milk chocolate brown. Does that make sense? I don't even know. And then Bearable. I thought I had Bearable. Oh, I didn't. And then Bearable is this bearable is like a burgundy color okay so this would be really gorgeous of course with gloss but also with like um red lips and stuff like a red lipstick this would be really pretty with that every time i try to finish this video something crazy happens so let me keep it pushing i picked up this eye glue stick because i want to see if it works like glitter glue i didn't read any reviews on it or anything like that but um i do have a lot of palettes with pressed glitter and stuff so that's why I decided to pick this up. I also picked up this set of eye brushes. Let me tell you what they're called. They're called the Crayon Case Ink Pens Eyeshadow Brush Set. So I picked them up and it looks like it comes with four brushes. And look at these really pretty blending brushes. So it feels very soft. So I'll let y'all know what I think of these. It comes with an angled brush as well. And then this little flat brush, this angle brush, and then this little flat brush. So um, I'll let y'all know what I think. I think I'm really mostly excited about the blending brushes. I also picked up this brow brush that has a spoolie on one end as well as this angled brush at the other end. So I'll let y'all know what I think about that. Y'all know I don't do a lot to my brows, but I want to try doing some different things just because I just fill in the front part. Um, I also picked up this brow pomade in the color Ebony. So let me pull it out of the box for y'all. So here's the brow pomade. It comes in this little jar like this, but there's, it looks like there's a lot in here. I think it would take a long time to go through this, you know, cause you just need a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me. I got the setting powder in the shade in. So it comes in a container like this, which is quite large. So I'm impressed by the size. Also, y'all, her packaging is nice. And of course, we love Crayon Case because of the theme, you know, how creative it is. I can't figure out how to open this. Let me figure out what I'm doing wrong. So to open the powder, all you have to do is just pull the top off like this. But powder kind of went poof, you know, and kind of got on my shirt. It does come with a little sponge that I don't plan to use. And this is like a yellowy finish. And, um... I'll let y'all know, you know, in the review video what I think of this, but I think this color is going to work for me. And I really plan to use it under my eyes, you know. I picked up this highlighter concealer in the color O2. It's very light. Can y'all see? I hope y'all can see how light it is. If not, I'll do a close-up, of course. But I plan to use this um, to help me cut my crease when I want to do a cut crease. So that's why I picked this up. And these have very good reviews on her website. Now the last product I purchased in this order is um, the big box of crayons palette. Yeah, the big box of, y'all just be making up stuff. It's the big box of 64 shades eyeshadow palette. So, so this is the big box of 64. So it has this slip cover, so I'm gonna pull it open like this. The palette opens from the back. This is amazing. And the pans, some of the pans are really huge. They're like a really large size, like these here in the middle. Um, all of them are very good size though. None of them are uh, small. Just so you all know, there's no plastic covering the, the sides. So be careful, um, I almost touched them. Um, but this is gorgeous. I like that, I like that she named every single one of the shadows so if you're doing a tutorial you can easily tell people which colors you're using by by the name you know what i mean so i love that and if you love color like me then this is a must this is a must and i see like what looks like pressed glitters i see shimmery shades there's um 
some matte shades. So I'm super excited, y'all. I'm accidentally like, I can see right here, either I dug in this or it hit or something. So just be careful when you're using this because the shades are not on the side are not covered. Y'all look at this color right here. It is insane. Hold on, let me see if I can show y'all without damaging the palette. That's so pretty. So y'all, this, um, I'll try to do a close up of this. This is huge. So I don't think most people would be traveling with this, you know, but this is great for makeup collectors or, you know, people who love color and stuff like that. Of course, if you like neutrals, there are a lot of neutral shades in here where you can do a neutral look. But if you love color, I think this is a must and I am not just going to allow this to collect dust i will be using this okay especially if the quality of the shadows is anything like the matte book i will be using the heck out of this palette so i'm super happy i picked it up all right y'all that concludes this haul stay tuned i have more coming y'all i normally do not buy this much makeup in such a short period of time but you know i had to treat myself i worked my butt off last year like i've already stated so that concludes this haul let me know please in the comments if you all want me to do a review on some of these products because i have bought so many things that she sells you know i'm testing out a little bit of everything so i'm excited to finally start using this stuff i'll let y'all know what i think um follow me on social media don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on social media because i will try to do like mini reviews of some of these products and things like that let y'all know what i'm loving um, so that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please be blessed, stay safe, and of course, I'll talk to you all soon. Let's go ahead and talk about these, the loose leaf makeup wipes. There's a, there's a, I can talk. <clears throat> all right, y'all, so I went, <laughs> I just dropped so much stuff. I picked up some beauty sponges. I picked up the black as well as the pink, and I think the black came in a pack of two and the um, pink came in a pack of one. So I actually picked up like six of the black and then three of the pink. This is a mess, hold on. So I picked up two of the black and six of the pink, excuse me, I picked up three of the black. So I picked up some of her beauty sponges. I picked up three of the black, Oh my good God almighty. This is not black Monet. This is pink. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Oh, there's something else that's not even in here that's supposed to be in the box. Open it. Oh, we open it from the back. Eye glue stick. Is this thing saying it's about to run out? <laughs>